lives back together after Monday's flooding. Yeah, last night we told you about Ken Kitts. He's a disabled veteran who had to move everything and he needed help. A local football coach called News 4 Tucson and offered his team services. News 4 Tucson Sam Salzweidel caught up with them today. Sam? Well, Canyon Del Oro football players are getting ready for one of their biggest games of the year, playing crosstown rival Ironwood Ridge. This afternoon, the coaches thought community service was a better idea than practice. Uh, oh, I'm exhausted. But uh, you got to do what you got to do. Ken Kitts is doing everything he can to get ready for almost 50 guests. Get a six kids in there and then six kids up here. Canyon Del Oro football players were recruited to move Kitts home. The time for fumbling. Big items and small. Show them the pipes, baby. <laughs> you got to have humor. You got to have humor. Kitts is a disabled veteran who's unable to move out of his flooded home by himself. Just tell him what you want him to do. Okay, thank you. For now, the coaches aren't worried about the rivalry. What's more beneficial for these guys? Uh, getting ready for Ironwood Ridge or doing this? <laughs> I think in the long run, they'll remember this. In the long run, they'll remember this, and we all will. And uh, everybody needs help. You know, when we have the opportunity to do so, we can. We can do a lot of damage with these boys in about 30 minutes. That's great. You know, we've been really working on developing a brotherhood. You want to take all this stuff out of your camp? The team chemistry. We're coming together. That's going to help on the field. Who are you playing? Ironwood. Thank you for your service. Sir. Tomorrow. Ironwood. Well, they're they're dead wood. The team makes quick work of almost everything. <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a blessing, and uh, they're good people in the world. And thank everyone. And Kitts is expecting some professional movers to help finish some of the loose ends in the morning. Christy.